Welcome back everybody to WatchHollywood.tv, the internet's talk show. We're here at episode four and today we're going to be talking with Stephanie Blackwell and Gabrielle Collins, people responsible for the film Love in an Instant. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for having us. Oh, my pleasure. Look at that. Please. Thank you. Thank How often you. are you going to talk to two gorgeous ladies like this? <laughs> Thank you. So Love in an Instant. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, but first, how did you folks meet? How did you two meet? Oh gosh, we've been friends for years now. Actually, 15? a mutual, a mutual friend of ours, um, Daphne Duplay, who also makes a little bit of a cameo here. Um, that's how we met. Yeah, it I was love in an instant, actually, when we when we met. Ah, <laughs> it was. All right, so I guess we'll be seeing the sequel for that. Just your friendship. Exactly. There you go. Yes. <laughs> So now, at what point did you, did, have you collaborated on stuff in the past, or did you finally realize, like, you know, we should just do something together? Um, what happened was, I actually, I was on Instagram. This is an Instagram-inspired love story. And it basically shows the beginning, middle, and end of a relationship on one woman's Instagram page, which happens to be Stephanie. <laughs> so, Hi. Um, I was actually looking at on Instagram, just going through my daily feed, and I noticed a picture on one of my friend's um, feeds. And so I looked at it and I was like, hmm, this is interesting. It was a very like sexy, sultry sort of picture of her, which she had never posted before. You know, it's just like very regular, like this, like us, you mm -hmm. know, just um, curly hair, usually like wash and go kind of thing. This was very made up. Her hair was like, blow dried straight and she had makeup on and just very sexy and I was like interesting let me look back <laughs> maybe I missed something here on her page and so I went to her page and started looking through the pictures and sort of noticed a pattern you know and the pictures before were like I said very much like this and then they just got sexier and I was like mm, I think she's dating somebody <laughs> <laughs> and so I just kind of you know backtracked and looked through the pictures and I would see someone, you know how when you, someone likes your picture and I saw one name that kept popping up and I was like, interesting, let me look at who that is uh. with <laughs> his page, you know, and so that's kind of um, how it started and I just started thinking, wow, you really can look at someone's page, whether it's Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and just, you know, have a little bit of a window into their lives and kind of track what's going on. And so... Mm -hmm. That gave me the idea for Love in an Instant, and I called up Stephanie and was like, I have this idea for this movie, and, you know, could you and Eric be in it? And um, she was like, well, what's it about? You know, so I kind of told her. She was like, sure. And I was like, yeah, but I, this is on a Monday I called her. I go, but I want to shoot it on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. She was like, yeah, we could do we it. We can make it work. We can make it work, and, you know, and so that's really how it happened, so... We knocked it out the out the um, ball in like all one day. day. One day. We shot all day Saturday. Um, and Wardrobe, script, everything <laughs> was discussed prior. Yeah. Yes. And we kind of just we we just threw it. Through it like, yeah. Yeah. And I shot it all on my iPhone. Oh, that's going to give the authentic sort of feel that you'd have. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's Instagram. Yeah. Absolutely. So you know, especially since you were able to do like is it twelve or fifteen seconds uh, of video? I think like, it's. 15 maybe for okay. um you know i made sure to incorporate the video with the jpegs mm -hmm. and so um and you know i wanted to have that very instagram look that very filtered look so so stephanie when gabrielle calls you up and says like all right the idea for let's do this let's do it on saturday i can you do it with Eric? When you pitch it by Eric, is he like, oh yeah, sure, let's just do this, or do you have to kind of twist his arm a little bit? Um, no, it's, it was all very easy. He he had worked in the industry too, um, so it was it was a no brainer. It was like, oh yeah, we could do this, you know. So it was it was quick. Now, when you on the day of shooting, do you shoot it chronologically? Do you? No, no, no we we shot location wise. So you know, like um, how we wanted it to just track um, with the different locations that we had. And then we shot everything that I knew would have a daytime look, uh, of course, in the daytime, and then for the evening. Yeah, we put our relationship exactly. in five minutes. <laughs> um, and we were, we it was like a, a couple year relationship, it seemed like, in the photos um, from beginning to end. And we squeezed it into a five minute we shot. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we had like club scenes, bar scenes, and it was all in my backyard actually. 
So everything and mostly and inside. And, and inside. inside. Like the club. Hang like, out of your place then. Eh? Yeah. Oh my god. Place, oh my yeah. god. She has the best house. The best house. She has, she has like this backyard and it's this sort of paradise. She calls it the Buddha Lounge. And it's beautiful. It's amazing in the back. So I kind like, of recreated a, a Nikki Beach actually is when I started the, the, the yard. Um, I went to Miami. And I was like, ooh, I want a yard like this. I want... And it very much has that feel. So, so it's all very easy to make it seem like we were in different locations. And oh, we, really nice. Yeah, we were all at her house. <laughs> so now, the, the, the shots that you're showing in the film, are they just condensed versions of yours and Eric's relationship? Or did you add other stuff that you feel like, well, I want to have these other touchstones from other relationships that I want to show in the film as well? No, it was all from them. It was all from them. I mean, it basically sort of mimicked their relationship and even at the end of it you know at the end of the shoot i said to them thank you so much for you know allowing me to sort of show a little bit of you guys and not really you guys but sort of you guys you know because it was them but it wasn't them mm -hmm. um and so it worked out like really well i think the most difficult scene to shoot was them arguing because they just kept laughing through it and i'm like okay guys we, gotta be we, had, we had to break up yeah. in in the shoot and and they weren't there. We, you know? and so, <laughs> not yet. Not anyway, yet. We, <laughs> I mean, you know, unfortunately or eventually they did break up, but um, it wasn't there at the time, you know. And so I was like, come on, let's get into this. You well, know? we never really fought. So I had to like curse at him and stuff. And I was like, I don't, I'm laughing. And I'm like, I, I don't know how to curse you out without laughing yeah. at, at it. So <laughs> picking those moments that you wanted to show in the film with you and Eric, was it, did both of you realize like, oh yeah, these were, did you both have the same idea of like important moments in your life that you were like, yeah, I'd like to, I, I, if I were Instagramming my relationship, I would have shown these sort of photos, and did you have those well, ideas? Well, it was sort life? of my idea of how I wanted, you know, the different stuff that I wanted to show, mm -hmm. and so... Um, but our, our Instagrams at that time were true to story, actually, because we, we did document... A cool cool moments, there, yeah. Oh, really cool moments, and it was all about capturing the really cool moments. So she captured some really cool moments, and uh, we intertwined it all together. And it just—it was kind of true to it was true to life, actually. It was—it's—that's it's, it, what makes it so weird is <laughs> that this was a story, and then it became, became my reality. life, yeah. and now everybody, everybody, is seeing this part of my life that was real. 